Polls consistently show that young people's number one issue is climate change. How will you, as both President of the United States and leader of the Republican Party, calm their fears that the Republican Party doesn't care about climate change? So we want to start on this with a, a show of hands. Do you believe in human behavior is causing climate change? Raise your hand if you do. Look, look we're not school children. Let's have the debate. I mean, I'm happy to take it to start. <laughs> Alexander, okay. so do you want to raise your hand or not? I don't think that's the way to do. So let me just say to Alexander this. First of all, one of the reasons our country's decline is because of the way the corporate media treats Republicans versus Democrats. Biden was on the beach while those people were suffering. He was asked about it. And he said, no comment. Are you kidding me? As somebody that's handled disasters in Florida, you've got to be activated. You've got to be there. You've got to be present. You've got to be helping people Can we who are doing this. And, the and yeah. here's the deal. Yeah. Let's just answer the question. So here's is, the that yes? is that a yes? Is that a yes? Is that a hand raise? You do not. I think it was a hand raise for him, and it's um, my hands are in my pockets. No, because no, no, the climate I didn't raise, change agenda I didn't is raise a hand. Let us be honest as Republicans. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, whoa, agenda whoa, 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 whoa. is a oh, hoax. Oh, the climate change ridiculous. agenda is a hoax. Is and we have to declare independence mm. for it. And the reality oh, is, whoa. the anti carbon agenda is the wet blanket on our economy. And so the reality is, more people are dying of bad climate change policies. Than they are of actual climate change. Governor, right, Governor look, Haley, are you bought the and paid for? Is down by hold on, hold on. I, in the last century. Listen, look, listen, listen. I've had it, no, Let, enough, wait, no, hold on, hold I've on. I've had enough. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. <laughs> and the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, What's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama, and I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur well, standing in stage tonight. Come over and give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug just same, like you did to Obama. The same type of amateur. And, and you'll help elect me just the, like you did to Obama, Obama too. Yeah. Give me that the same hug, type of amateur. Hey, Brett, Go, hold on, hold on. Hey, Brett, Governor Haley, would you like to respond? Deserves Are you so bought Brett, and paid what for? What I would like to say is the fact that I think. This is exactly why Margaret Thatcher said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. First of all, we do care about clean air, clean water. We want to see that taken care of. But there's a right way to do it. And the right way to do it is, first of all, yes, is climate change real? Yes, it is. But if you want to go and really change the environment, then we need to start telling China and India that they have to lower their emissions. That's where our problem is. And these green subsidies that Biden has put in all he's done is help China because he doesn't understand all these electric vehicles that he's done, what that does. Half of the batteries for electric vehicles are made in China. And so that's not helping the environment. You're putting money in China's pocket. And Biden did that. So first of all, I think we need to acknowledge the truth, which is these subsidies are not working. We also need to take on the international world and say, OK, India and China, you've okay. got to stop polluting. And that's when we'll start right. to deal Senator with Senator Scott, climate. are you bought and paid for? Absolutely. Are you bought and paid for? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you bought and paid Absolutely for? not. I mean, it, it, here's what the American people deserve is a debate about the issues that affect their lives. Going back and forth being childish is not helpful to the American people to decide on the next leader of our country. Number one, wait a second. Number two, as a kid who grew up in a single parent household mired in poverty, I wondered, was the American dream real for kids who are devastated by poverty, devastated by the challenges of life. I came to the conclusion that America can do for anyone what she's done for me if we focus on restoring hope, creating opportunities, and protecting America. If we want the environment to be better, and we all do, the best thing to do is to bring our jobs home from China. If we create 10 million new jobs in my Made in America plan, we will have a better economy and a better environment. Let me tell you why I say that, Brett. America, do it quickly. America has cut. <laughs> I'm a Southern boy, I talk slow. So America, America, <laughs> another one. that was quick. America <laughs> has cut our carbon footprint in half in the last 25 years. The places where they are continuing to increase, Africa, 950 million people. India, over a billion. China, over a billion. Why would we put ourselves at a disadvantage 
devastating our own economy. Let's bring our jobs home. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.